Good day. Today we will talk about independent t-test. Sometimes they call it paired t-test or paired sample t-test. This kind of t-test uh, will be to compare uh, the means of two related groups uh, to determine whether there is a significant difference between the mean and these means. Uh, normally, it's uh, the same respondent will ask it twice. Okay. Uh, let's take an uh, example. Let's say uh, we have this uh, example. Uh, let's say uh, we have um, a researcher want to test um, a new anti-hunger uh, weight loss pill. And there are 10 volunteers, uh, they ask them to rate it before and after uh, that, uh, they take this uh, pill. And also we are using here alpha uh, point, uh, 0.05. Now, the null hypothesis here uh, there is no difference uh, between uh, the rating before and after taking this pill. The, non the alternative hypothesis, no, there is a difference. Since there is this symbol and uh, not equal, we assume that uh, this uh, uh, test has uh, two tails. Okay, has two tails. Uh, and uh, the 5% or 0 0.05 will be divided to 2. 0 0.025 from this side and 0 uh, 0.025 from the other side. Uh, first, we need to find what is the critical value here. Uh, we can find that one actually uh, in a table, tables something like this, okay? Um, when uh, we, we are using two tails uh, with 5% or 0 0.05 and the degree of freedom is 9, the answer is here, uh, 2.262, uh, okay? This is the degree of freedom calculated by n minus 1. And this is uh, 2.262. If from the left side we we have negative, so this is the zero here, and from the right uh, right side it's a positive. But there is another way to calculate that one if you don't have that table. You just uh, use a command uh, t i n v 2 d, and let's work on that one equal to t and this one return the two tails uh, inverse of the student t uh, test distribution okay it's asking what the probability is 0 5 and 9 is the degree of freedom he will give me 2.262 okay to calculate t, I need to find the mean of the difference between before and after. Okay, uh, you can see here is uh, this cell minus this cell. Okay, I can it for you equals this cell before minus this cell. It will give you the difference between before and after. You can copy this cell and you paste it here you will have the average to calculate the average or, or the mean we will use average command okay this one will be equals average okay this is average and of this one enter it will give me the average of this one the other thing uh, also uh, uh, if you want to calculate the, the standard uh, deviation, okay? The standard deviation of this one uh, came from uh, uh, this STDEV 
command for standard deviation equal to a standard deviation equal equals s t this one and then we select this field values enter and then we will have uh, a standard deviation here okay now uh, to calculate t i have now the mean the average i have the standard deviation and i have n which is 10 10 point okay uh, this come from this is the blue one is equals the mean divided by the standard deviation divided by square root square root is qrt this is the command for square, uh, uh, square root then and then after that you put enter it will give you a three now let's go back here let's see uh, our result where our result is 3.6 almost uh, somewhere here okay this is our result here 3.6 okay and then uh, this is our uh, result here it is inside the rejected area rejected zone okay meaning i need to reject the null hypothesis there is a difference okay uh reject the null hypothesis the anti-hunger uh, weight loss pill significantly affect the hunger okay uh, this is uh, the result here now you can see i can do all these things by another way faster than this way okay by using uh, a data analysis package this one but before i will show you this one uh, you need to install data analysis package if it's not installed yet in your excel you go to file you go to option you select uh, add in you go to here go and you select check analysis package i have it i don't need okay now here i will select a t test pair okay and then i will select the before and then i will select uh, after you notice i am selecting the label also because i will check here the label the first uh, row is the label and then the output okay let's say my output will be somewhere here okay or any any PSD one okay let's say my output is here okay uh, this is my output now you can see the t test here is a 3.5 so find it here you can see this one is my t test similar the same number and also he find the two tail critical uh, value here also okay we found it this number and uh, also he give me the probability the probability is 0 0.005 okay uh, i can here also calculate it by this uh, command okay and uh, this command will be uh, like this equals uh, t test this is the t test and then the first array before and then after and then and then he's asking me is one tail or two tail i'm telling him two tails and then he's asking what kind of uh, test i said pair and close equal and then he give me the same answer uh, this uh, example if we have uh, two tails let's see if we have uh, one tail okay now we have another example Let's say uh, a study conducted uh, by a student to, to, to see if there is effectiveness of uh, weight loss program done by Department of uh, uh, 
physical education. Uh, we have uh, 10 respondents. Uh, they uh, with them before they go to that program and then they with them after they finish the program and they found if uh, this program useful if this uh, uh, respondent or sample it will be lost weight and uh, and they use alpha five zero five the degree of freedom is nine now uh, the same thing we will uh, calculate first is the difference between after and before okay uh, after and before he should lose weight okay uh, you can see here it's uh, 77 minus 93 uh, the first one he lost 16 kilograms five uh, this guy he gained weight actually and this guy he gained also weight let's see if this program is really effective or not um first we need to find the the critical value we can do it uh, the same way if you go to uh, using the table but i will try again to use uh, this command similar what i give it to you here but here uh, i use uh, this uh, command for one tail okay and the left uh, tail you can see uh, this is the command i will use okay link equal to in uh, t-test okay uh, you can see the t test this one and this one return the left tail that this is the left if you want this one he will give you the two that in the previous example okay but if you want the left this is uh, for the the left uh, tail okay i will use this one for the left tail the probability is 0.05 and the freedom is nine and then he will give me a negative uh, 1.833 this is the critical value now if my t test uh, in the red zone i will reject the the test here the null uh, hypothesis which is that the I uh, know they they are equals or there's no different or even maybe he gained but the alternative no he lost he lost his zero okay now uh, we will calculate the similar but before the t test and then we will find that the answer will be negative three uh, practically he is somewhere here meaning reject reject uh, the null hypothesis and this program really has significant evidence that the program is effective reducing weight now let's go to the same story uh, we can do that one in using uh, the data analysis okay i will select pair okay and then i will select after and then i will select uh, before okay you you notice i'm i'm selecting including the the label that's why i can check label five percent okay. then i want my output will be uh, somewhere maybe here and okay and he can create for me if i notice here the degree of freedom is nine negative 3.18 which is the same answer here and then also the critical for one side which is 1.8 since this is the left side will be negative and the probability you can also you can calculate it uh, for one side is uh, one tail uh, 00558 which is this one the same the same command you you like previous answer but be sure one tail you will select here instead of two okay uh, 
uh, this uh, uh, package is uh, very useful and you can do uh, this calculation uh, very fast. I hope you learned something today and uh, have a nice day and thank you for watching.